Hello and welcome to Parabring Consumer Software's video on the iRecovery Stick and how to recover deleted data and perform investigations of iOS devices. This includes iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch devices. And it also includes iTunes backup files, which a lot of people will uh, miss when they are thinking of investigating um, the, the devices or recovering deleted data. So let's start talking about deleted data recovery. Now, deleted data recovery can be very important in investigations. Um, however, most people think that is the most important thing. When you consider court cases, most court cases that have digital evidence actually do not involve deleted data because the smoking gun or the important evidence is actually has never been deleted. Even if somebody tries to uh, cover their track by deleting data, that data is often duplicated elsewhere on the device. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go ahead. First, let's talk about what we can get from um, iOS devices. With the iRecovery Stick, we can recover um, SMS, iMessages, I call history, contacts, calendar entries, notes, Safari bookmarks, and recently deleted photos. Now you can see that as we get into the newer versions of iOS that we have some limitations. Um, in iOS 11.4.1 to 12, SMS recovery is limited to a 24-hour window. After 24 hour, hours after the messages have been deleted, they are unrecoverable. And with iOS 13, um, currently we can only recover recently deleted photos. But as I mentioned, it isn't very, it isn't absolutely necessary to have deleted data recovery. In fact, most of the time you can find what you're looking for without deleted data recovery. So let's start talking about, first of all, uh, one of the most common places to find um, data that has been deleted by the user, but there might be different copies um, of that data somewhere else, which is in graphics or photos. So if you have a photo and you want to delete it because uh, for whatever reason, you may have actually already made copies of that by opening up in other apps or um, sending a text message with that photo on it and you forget to uh, delete the entire conversation, you're going to have that photo recovered from those other locations and available um, within the graphics here. And you can see here, this is a recovery of a phone. It has all this user data. And like I said, you can often find recovered photos in graphics. Next, let's talk about application data. So the photo, or so the, the uh, iRecovery Stick will actually recover information from all the apps that are on the device. This can be very useful because you can see what apps are on there. They might be, have dating, dating apps. They might have other social media apps you weren't aware of. Um, so it's very good to have that. Also, it actually has a really useful feature here called um, the malware suspicion feature where with these apps it calculates what those apps have access to on the phone and tells you whether or not it's suspicious of being that malware. Now you can see an app like WhatsApp um, is a mainstream app and it isn't really considered malware except that some users may consider it uh, very intrusive because it's very highly suspect because of all the different types of data that it has access to. It has access to your contacts, your microphone, um, SMS, all these different things that you may not be aware of. So that's a really cool feature for the, from the iRecovery Stick. Also, it'll actually show the app data for a lot of the mainstream apps. So it'll actually show things like call history, I'm sorry, the, uh, the internet history from Chrome. Um, it will show things like user locations in uh, Google Maps, messages from different messaging apps. So a lot of user data can also be in these apps. And a lot of times users don't think to delete that data from all these different apps. Next, we have multimedia that you can uh, export. So this includes things like movies and MP3s. So if you want to see what movies they have on the, uh, the device, you can export that and view those. One of the great features of the iRecovery Stick is actually one of the most overlooked. It is the search feature. You can come up here and search for keywords 
and it will search through all the data and show the results, results down here. So you can search for everything from um, phone numbers to names, uh, anything that you might think is important to your investigation, and it will find that. Once you've found that, a cool feature too is bookmarking. So if you find a photo or text message or whatnot that you want to bookmark, you can actually um, right click over it and bookmark it. And you can put a short description, a detailed description as to why you're bookmarking it. And you can always easily come back to that piece of data um, or you can include it in your report. Um, the report is an Excel report and it will export all the user uh, textual data to an Excel file so you can um, preserve that and, and have it in a, an official report. So let's talk about another very overlooked aspect of the, uh, or feature of the iRecovery Stick and a place where you can also find deleted data or data that's been deleted from the phone but is still available elsewhere. iTunes backup files are backup files that are stored on the computer and it's almost like a copy of the phone onto the computer. It has all the same data that we can recover from the phone, but it's that it's like a timestamp of the phone at that point in time on the computer. So not only can we recover can we recover from these backup files, um, and not only does it contain the, the same user information, but it can contain information that has since been deleted from the, the phone. So if that phone has been backed up and then you go through and you delete all the conversations, all the SMS, all the photos, it can actually be recovered from the iTunes backup file. So as we talk about all this today, about investigation, um, about deleted data recovery, keep in mind that there is so much information on the phone. We can recover it from so many different places on the phone that even though it's getting harder and harder to recover, um, from specific types of deleted data, um, the investigation, the thorough investigation will yield results that most people don't understand are available. So thank you for joining me today um, talking about the iRecovery stick and the importance of investigations and deleted data recovery. Goodbye.